This time, I got the shiny wheels. Power Hobby Armor tires right here. These are belted. I have had issues with these coming off the wheels. Yeah, that's been kind of an issue, and I've already glued up a couple just before this right here. Anyway, I'm going to show the truck to you on the table. We're going to get this thing outside. We're going to have some fun. Let's see if they stay stuck this time. <laughs> Let's get to that table. Here we go. And yes, I've already changed those out to XT90. Sure, I've probably wasted some warranty, but I'm fine with that. Here are the Power Hobby Armor tires. Ovonic 6200s are going back in for another run. Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's get and here we go. Let's see if these tires can stay stuck now. They look good on there. Hopefully they stay stuck. <laughs> That's all I got to say. They really look good on there. But you know, I like the shiny wheels. Got a good turn in on them. A really good turn in. Yeah. Oh, man, caught that a little wrong. Let's head over and get this backflip test in. The ground, the dirt is a little more sticky since this is a morning video. But let's see if we can get a backflip with these. So far, the best backflips I've got have been with the uh, sand tires. That's been it. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. That was a rough landing over there. I want to try to get it on my side. I don't know why, but I always like to go to the wrong side wherever I'm at. Just a safety protocol. <laughs> oh! I did not. I got to have that high gear in here. Got to. Got to get some wheel speed. But hey, <laughs> it's taking it. I, uh, I'm, I, I'm impressed. Okay, no more backflips with these. That would have been horrible. That would have been flat horrible. And I have no intentions to just do something that stupid. <laughs> Thing's got some great brakes, man. Back to the track. Sort of. Oh! Back in caught a little bit on that, didn't it? Nice. Man, this thing lands good. It really does. It, it really lands good. I'm really impressed. And I love how this thing just gets right out there, clears that triple, which is actually kind of hard to get. And I'm noticing the triple, you can't see it in the video. There's no little hump, like a fourth way over here, but you gotta do some track work. Nice. And of course you guys know the drill, right? Got to see if I can get some fast laps in. I think it was the fastest was uh, 17.4. Still got to work on the en en entrance into that ramp right there. Looks like just a warm up lap, guys. Well, it sounds like I also need to go ahead and lubricate the. Uh... Wow, when it gets into that loose right there, it just hooks. Need to lube up the uh, CV shafts a little bit as well. It was funny. One guy apparently thought on my table video of this, I compared this to the 1 8 scale. Great. And I'm like, uh, nobody. 
It's uh, that was the one fifth crate made us. But oh well. Oh no. Here I am telling a story. I'm not even going fast at all. See if I can at least get one good lap in. Yeah, this is not too bad of a lap. I got that pretty good. That's a pretty good lap right there. Man, you see that? It just hooks real bad. I need to do some work on that corner. But you know what? I think we've seen what we need out of these tires, right? And wow, this thing's got some great brakes. Yeah, I can definitely tell it was a little more sticky than what it has been so far. Well, power hobby tires right there. The stock gearing turns them really well, but you don't have the wheel speed to actually catch backflips on demand. Sure, you can get lucky a few times, but uh, yeah, the tires held up. I don't think they had enough speed to actually pop off the wheels as well. But anyway, the truck is taking a beating. I mean, I'm not going to go out and intentionally destroy it. Like when I was on those backflips and I knew I was going to come down super hard, boom, hit the brakes, which are really good on this thing. I'm really glad with the brake programming on this thing. Uh, a lot of times you get these and the brakes are like non-existent. It's like they're not even there. It's like, why don't you put the brakes on them from the factory? But anyway, Traxxas did. Anyway, uh, tires did good. Did not pop loose. Truck is taking a beat in that one side hit. Got a nice little flex on that, but that's the X-Max for you there. That's the X-Max line coming out of this thing. I'm happy with the truck. Guys, in that description, I'll link up the wheels, tires, uh, the truck as best I can, all that stuff. So make sure you check that out. Hit your local hobby shop because they're probably the ones that have these in stock. They're the first ones to get them. That was how I got mine. So anyway, check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. I got a lot more on the way. Let's go. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.